When you're working in a spreadsheet, the way your data looks is important. What you'll see here on my sample spreadsheet is I have a list of centre names, a list of exams, the date the application was made, and a number here that is the amount each person has paid or each centre has paid for these exams. And what you will see is this amount paid is formatted differently depending on the way the number's been inserted. So £45 or £18 is actually 60 But because I haven't told this sheet to present the data in a consistent way, is it's just showing the numbers it needs. When it's a whole pound, or 45 pounds, it doesn't need the two decimal places. Here, if it's 18 pounds 60, the zero doesn't matter. But the way we look at it is impacted. So if you can change the way the number looks to make it a consistent display, that's better. So again, with everything in Excel, highlight what you want to change before you select the function. So I've highlighted my range of numbers and your number format area is in your home menu and in this section here on the ribbon. And you have either got the shortcut menus or you have an, a longer menu here. So in this case, I could click my drop down button at general and I could choose this number here and I want two decimal places. So now you'll see, having chosen that menu, that feature, £45 shows us 45.00 because when we're working with money, we're working to two decimal places. Just going to show you a different number format with the same data. So again, I highlight my data. I click on this drop down button. And you might want to choose currency. And there you will see it's put a pound sign in front of our numbers. It's important when working with a spreadsheet that once you've entered your data, you go back and check it looks sensible as well. Numbers that are formatted to a, a routine number of decimal places are easier to read.